What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at how to get your hard drive, your brand new hard drive that you just bought, you just hooked it up, you turned on your computer and you don't see it. I'm, t I'm going to show you how to get this to initialize and how the computer can see it. So first thing we're going to do, go to your PC here. Now if you maybe have one of these other tabs selected, just make sure you're on the computer tab, go over to manage. Then under manage, let's go to disk management. All right, so it's telling me you must initialize a disk before a logical disk manager can access it. I'm just gonna say okay. This master boot record is good. All right. Then as you can see, I have a. It's a two terabyte drive, and it's only showing up as 1,863.02 gigabytes. And as it is with all hard drives, you never get all of it. So we go new simple volume. Has a little wizard. Let me get as much. Now you could actually partition this and let's go ahead and get as much space as we can in this single partition. Following drive letter. Get this I is okay. It doesn't really matter. You know, you could, let's just go, let's just, nah. So we're going to file, format it with NTF, NTFS. You could do XFAT, but seems like that is the old way. Volume. Now you can name your drive for whatever you want. Let's do mass media. That's what I'm going to be putting on this drive. Bunch of media. Okay. There we go. Mass media. This I. So now we go to my PC. That shouldn't show up like that. I was just showing up this icon okay now the icon is showing up correctly it I didn't do anything it just showed up correctly now so we've got this mass media here showing up and it's all pretty simple guys that's all you got to do quick recap you gotta I guess well okay go to management this management once you get in there, if it was a brand new drive, it'll ask you to initialize. Boom, you initialize. You select the size that you want of your partition. Like I said, if I had to went one, t one terabyte on one partition, it would have left me 800 or so gigs for the other partition, and I could make that one, and I could have two partitions on, on my one drive. But I don't necessarily want that. I just want it all on one big partition. And it's all done. Like I said, there we go. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like. And you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe, guys. See you later.